Hi, I'm Gautam Bragov from Informatica GCS and today we're going to be looking at the feature of auto generation of reference ID for business assets in CDGC. Agenda for today includes understanding what reference ID of business assets are in data catalog, the auto generation of reference ID feature, what reference ID prefixes are, and a demo of auto generation of reference ID. The reference ID of a business asset is a unique identifier assigned to every business asset in data catalog. When governance assets are created through the data catalog UI or bulk import prior to April 2023 major release, a reference ID must be mandatorily provided. An existing business assets reference ID can be modified at any point as per the user's preference. Since this is a unique identifier, the user had to manually provide these unique reference IDs while creating governance assets. Users faced a problem because of this scenario as they had to keep track of all prior reference IDs used in order to provide a unique reference ID for a newly created governance asset. And post April 2023 release of CDGC, system will now auto generate reference ID for business assets. This applies to business assets created from both the UI as well as through the bulk import process. The format for the auto generated reference ID by the system would be the asset type prefix followed by a hyphen and a auto generated number. The asset type prefix are by default provided in MCC and can be modified at any point in time. Also, for multiple asset types, the same prefix can also be used. So, as you can see on the screen here, these are the default reference ID prefixes for different governance asset types in the data catalog. Now, there are a few rules that go along with reference ID prefix modifications. So, as seen before, a reference ID would be auto-generated by the system in the format of a pre asset type prefix hyphen an auto-generated number. Now, the separator between the prefix and the number would always be hyphen and that cannot be changed at this point of time. The prefix name could be changed and should be 2 to 8 characters long and should start with alphabets only. The prefixes can have numeric values and only underscore is allowed under a special character. The number which is auto-generated by the system is of long data type and can have a max value as shown. Number will not be reused for auto-generation, meaning if there is an existing governance asset with an associated auto-generated reference ID, if this governance asset is being deleted, the number used in the reference ID will not be used again. It's always going to be a new number that's going to be generated by the system for the future creation of governance assets. Now, let's have a quick demo of this particular feature of auto generation of reference IDs. When you open metadata command center under configurations, you will be having the option to select reference IDs here. This would take you to the page where all the default prefix values for the governance asset types are provided. Now, these can be modified as mentioned previously. For example, if I want to modify the domain asset type, I select the domain asset type and I can provide the updated value here. Kindly make sure you follow all the prefix rules as listed in my previous slide. So once you provide the updated name here, you can press save and the value is going to be taking effect soon. So any new governance assets that are created with this particular asset type in the data catalog 
would now take the prefix value of DOM test. To quickly illustrate how this modified prefix value takes place and also the auto generation feature, let's go to the data catalog. I'm going to create a new governance asset of type domain. So select domain here, create. I'm going to give a domain. So to give a demo domain name. Now you can still enter a unique identifier for the asset here, like uh, the behavior post pre April 20 major release. But if it's le left blank, the reference ID is automatically generated now. So I'm going to leave it blank for now and I'm going to go ahead and create the domain asset. Now, once the domain asset is created, now you can see that the test domain has now an auto generated reference ID and it is using the prefix that we defined in the metadata command center. To summarize the activities on today's call, we had a brief introduction to what reference IDs are. We went over the process of generation of reference IDs. We reviewed the reference ID template generated by the system during auto generation process. We understood the process to modify reference ID prefixes. Now, any additional information on this topic can be found in the Informatica knowledge base and CDGC product documentation. We would love to hear more from you. Please leave your feedback at supportvideos at informatica.com or drop us a tweet at twitter.com slash infasupport. Thank you.